By the good graces of the Lords of Kobol, the Galactica continues to lead her flock of survivors towards the coordinates given us by those great white lights that vanished as mysteriously as they first appeared. There are those who speculate that those lights, advanced ships really, might have come from Earth, giving us great hope that they have a highly developed technology. Even now, our long-range scouts patrol the quadrants, watching for signs that indicate that we are drawing close. Six centaurs, what's up? I can hear your klaxon over the comm line. Wait, something just coming onto the edge of my scanner right now. Sublight vehicle containing six life forms. Apollo, you don't think... That could be our first contact with Earth? Don't get your hopes too high. Look at the life signs. That's incredible. They indicate humans, but... At a minimum life support level. By now, I'm sure that most of you are aware that something special has happened. Yes, Loma. If there are people inside that ship, why aren't they coming out? We can't allow it right now because their craft has to be decontaminated. Now, who knows what that means? Yes, Foxy. It means we have to kill any sick bugs that may be on the ship. Very good. There's kids on the spaceship. Kids just like us. Only from another world. Foxy, you will return to your seat as well as the other students or stay for an additional learning period. And you young men will stay anyway for returning late from meal period. I wanted to see the kids. Are they really just like us? They look like us, but they don't move. Children, what Boxy is trying to explain is that these space foragers are in a state which we call a state of suspension. What does that mean? It means that in order to travel great distances between planets, they couldn't carry enough life-supporting gases to make the trip. Who knows what is the most important gas which we need to breathe to live? Boxy. Oxygen. Very good. It is no coincidence that 35 years to the month after this episode, John Bradford and Douglas Talk proposed how therapeutic hypothermia and total parenteral nutrition could support astronaut crews in a low metabolic torpor state for the six-month satellite journey to Mars. <laughs>